Hey everybody, I uh, just wanted to uh, take a moment to talk to you about uh, the dreaded diatom bloom. Uh, so, I did a lot of homework on this and went and uh, sought some help and uh, was worried that I had done something wrong with my water chemistry or something, but it uh, turns out uh, the diatom bloom is very common and not much to worry about. And uh, so, some of you may have heard about this as uh, brown algae. So what I'm talking about is essentially uh, a brownish rusty color that shows up on you know your tank. Um, I've cleaned it uh, and I was going to tell you a little bit about what I've done to get it under control. It's, it's still there and it'll uh, clear itself in a few days I'm hoping. Uh, but uh, this is what it is. It's uh, it's not technically an algae. It's uh, some kind of a phytoplankton or something. And I know there's smart people out there who will correct me on that. But it's a single-celled organism that uh, lives off the nitrates in your in your uh, tank. So this is a pretty common thing for new tanks such as this um, that have uh, that are going through its uh, first cycle. Now, one thing that I noticed uh, for this was, with my filtration being uh, pretty pretty big for this tank, uh, I've got a Fluval 206 uh, in here, and it's a 30 gallon tank, so I, I'm, I'm pretty good, uh, good have, have a lot of filtration. And uh, it did not want to cycle on me, and it took about uh, two months before the cycle hit. And so, uh, that's why this kind of took me as a surprise a little bit. But, um, so basically what it is, is uh, these organisms that kind of show up, uh, um, and I'm not sure where they come from or what the source is, uh, and if you, you can even control it. I, I, my best guess is it's coming from the uh, um, phosphates and whatnot locked in, uh, such as rock, uh, stuff like that. Um, but again, I, I'm not an expert on that. But it's very common for uh, most tanks to, to get a, a, a diatom bloom. Um, also known as brown algae um, when they're going through its first cycle. So it kind of characterizes itself as kind of this rusty brown um, algae looking thing and it coats the surface of almost everything. So for example the, uh, the, the green greenery here, the plant, you can see how it's kind of got this uh, rusty looking muck on it. Here's another look at some of these leaves here on the side. So you can tell it, it's, it's not pretty looking and it'll get it'll uh, rapidly spread to your glass and everything else. Um, and I've got it clean. I cleaned it about two or three days ago, and it's already starting to come back on the glass. I, I don't know. There's a good view. It's kind of hard to tell. Um, but uh, uh, light doesn't really affect it a whole lot. I tur I tried turning it down, uh, but I I read that it's it, unlike algae because it's not technically an algae. It's not really impacted by that. It might impact it a little bit. Uh, but it's more related to the phosphates that are in the uh, water column and the available nitrates. So, so what do I do? Well, the first thing I did was I bought these uh, um, this phosphate pad here. Um, I wish I had kept the original packaging, but uh, you just cut it, uh, cut it to the pieces size you want. It, it basically, it's taking phosphates out of the uh, out of the water. And so I, I cut a couple pieces out to put it in my uh, canister filter and just put them in any kind of tray where um, it'll maximize the water flow through it. So I put two pieces in there. I cut another piece out here, this thing right here, because uh, this Aquarius told me that they make great algae scrubber pads. So once, once I got the filter uh, cleaned out and added these into the filter, I got the water go going back, the filter going back again. And I proceeded to do um, a water change. Well, first I, I actually took this scrub and I just uh, got it, got in on all the uh, um, glass surfaces in there. And uh, this actually uh, it has a consistency. Uh, you know, it's pretty doesn't stick on there too good. Too good. So it's actually rather easy to lift up. And other, unlike these uh, magnets, you've seen these before the the, the magnetic uh, algae scrubbers. The, uh, the, the pad was a little bit easier to get down into closer to the uh, substrate here because you should never uh, use these magnets down close to the substrate because what it can do is trap a gran granule of sand and then just score into your glass or, um, or acrylic. 
So this enabled me to get down in there deep into the substrate along here because what you'll find is, and you can see it a little bit, it, it'll start to kind of grow. See the little uh, ruddy line there? And that, and so I was able to get down into that and get some more of it. So once I got that loosened up, I also uh, just kind of went through the leaves a little bit and just kind of um, uh, loosened it up with my uh, fingertips. Just kind of scrubbed at it a little bit. I uh, wasn't too... Um, wasn't too nasty with it, um, but it, it kind of came out and uh, was able to clean it up. And again, all I'm doing is loosening it into the water column. So I'm, I'm bringing it back into a, a suspension here and hoping that the, the uh, water, the, the filter will suck it out and run it through the filter. Another thing I did, I, I wanted to create a lot of uh, um, uh, water movement. So I just got a, 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 a power head uh, and just use that with a, a hose got it down in there and got some uh, Water and just used it to kind of get things moving and, and get it to lift off Once I had done that and loosened it all up I uh, start I did about a you know a 30 or 40 percent water change. I could have gone more, but I thought that was enough uh, and, uh, and Once I put some more water in this thing cleared right up. I mean it was looking really um, rusty and nasty um, I was actually kind of embarrassed to even do another video, and but um, th it actually did pretty good. Uh, and I'm hoping that uh, with that added phosphate filter, uh, it's going to clear that right up. And uh, um, so what uh, some pros have told me is that once your uh, tank has finished its uh, first cycle and the nitrates come out and balance back out, uh, the, uh, the diatoms die off. They get pulled into the filter and taken out, and uh, you, you turn into the green algae phase, uh, which is the longer term uh, um, stuff you gotta worry about. So, it's, it's again, it's very typical. Um, it just, uh, everyone has to go through it. Uh, you're lucky if you don't, because it is kinda ugly, but it's definitely something you can get through uh, with a little bit of a TLC on your tank and make it look, make it look pretty good. Let me know what you guys think. Uh, if you have any questions or any uh, tips or lessons learned uh, that you've done in the past, uh, maybe I could do better. I'm still kind of curious how to get some of that nastiness off the leaves. I mean, look at my uh, my grass here. It looks just like it's dying, but it's. It, I think it's not dying. It's just a matter of uh, getting getting that uh, diatom to pass away and get filtered out. But another thing is that your bottom feeders don't eat it. Uh, I've been told that they don't. Uh, I believe them because they haven't really been attacking it. Uh, so, anyways, would love uh, any feedback you've got. We'll talk to you later. Bye.